Hi there! In this third video, in the advanced series, I'm going to continue working with the mask tool to do selective edits. I'll just show you a few more examples. Okay, so here's a picture I brought into Photoshop. It's a building with a sky. And now when I was taking the picture, I had two main choices. I could have either properly exposed for the sky, and the building would have been dark, which is the case here. Or I could have properly exposed for the building, and the sky would have been brighter, possibly even blown out. Well, I chose to keep the sky and have the building be darker because I can actually tweak the building in Photoshop. If I didn't have this available to me, I probably would have properly exposed the main subject, which is the building, and my sky would have been washed out a little. Well, let me show you how to do this. I don't want to change the sky. The sky is fine. So obviously, I want to mask out the sky and just fiddle around with the building and the ground. So let's do that. I go into quick mask mode and with a paintbrush with a soft brush style I'm gonna just mask out the sky so let me do that now you have to be careful not to go too far into the building Okay. okay there we go I go back into normal mode. Uh, let's see. Now instantly my histogram is showing me only what I have selected. That's the beauty of the histogram. It shows you what you have selected in real time. And it's obviously showing that I'm missing a lot of detail in the highlights. Well, let's fix that. Let's do an auto contrast. Image, adjustments, auto contrast. There you go. All set. Let me deselect that. Select, deselect. And there you go. <laughs> Very cool. Let me go back to the original. Notice how the sky did not change, but the building's a lot darker. And now with the edited version. Much, much better. Now the building becomes the main subject once again. That took, what, at most a minute? and it made an okay photo into a much better photo. Cool. I like it. Let me show you another example, so I'm going to minimize that. And open up this other photo. It's a, a picture of a rose. I have special lighting and I have a cardboard, black cardboard background. Well, I look at the histogram, I see I can compress the highlights a little bit, so I'm going to just do that with a auto contrast. There it made the rose a little bit brighter. Now I want to make this cardboard so I don't even see it. Especially down here. I want to make it all black. And so I would naturally pull down the curves to make it darker. But that would also be changing the rose itself and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna mask out the rose. Also there's this nice little leaf here. I'd like to try and leave the leaf in pretty much as much as I can. Uh, because I think it's a cool little thing. That way I don't just have a rose flower floating in nowhere. Now, I'm going to mask out the rose and I want to partially mask out the leaf. And I'll show you how to do a partial mask. So I first go into quick mask mode. And let me first mask out the rows, just like I've been doing all along. Okay, we're just masking out the rows. Okay, good. Now to partially mask out things, you do the same exact thing, you paint over it, but you change your opacity of your paintbrush. 100% is a full mask wherever you're painting and of course it tapers off at the edges because it's a soft brush but if you change that opacity down to 50 percent it'll be 50 percent masked out and so that means it's going to get 50 percent of the edit you do 
that sounds about right for me, so I'm gonna put my opacity down to about 50%. And I'm just gonna brush over the leaf a little bit. Okay, there we go. Very simple. Now I'm finished, so I go back into normal mode. And I'm gonna pull down the shadows. So I go to Image Adjustments Curves. And I'm gonna pull down to make it darker. Also, let's do a little bit with the shadow region. Okay, so I'm gonna unpreview that. That's what it started like. Preview it. Much, much better. And the leaf is still there a little bit, which gives it a cool effect, I think. So I click OK. If I wanted to leave the leaf there more, I would have had a higher opacity percentage. Maybe 75% instead of 50 or so. And there we go. How it started out like. Dull. And how it ended up like. I'm going to tweak this a bit more. I want to just tweak the rose itself. Right now I have everything but the rose selected, but if I do a select inverse, now I'm selecting the rose and partially the leaf. Uh, I'm going to do a curve adjustment. I'm just going to bring up the highs a bit and give it a tiny bit of saturation. Just a tiny bit. Unpreview that. Preview it. There. Very good. And now I'm finished. Well, I hope this was helpful in showing you some other techniques to use the quick mask mode to make masks to do selective edits and how to do partial masks. Thanks for watching.